58. Lovely first start. 140. He does look smooth. That throw looks really good from Adrian. It's nice to see. It's always nice to see Adrian Lewis playing well. Oh, hello. Double top. Game shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gary Blades. Where has that come from? 135 checkout. <laughs> Adrian Lewis raises the eyebrows. He wasn't expecting it. Offers the fist Thank bump at the end of it. Very, very impressive, Gary Blades. Oh, just a little sign of what he can do. 135. Not bad. Back to Mac 135s for Gary Blades then. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff, Adrian Lewis. Uh, even Van Gerwen has said that Lewis has probably got more natural talent than he has, whatever that phrase means. But when you see him throwing, when he's not worrying about how fast he is or how slow he's going, when he's settled into a rhythm, when that smoothness in the arm is back, it's just like being transported back a few years when Adrian Lewis was winning major titles every single year. 99. World title, world title, European Championship, UK Open. And not just winning them, winning them incredibly. Double top. Game shot. Yeah, lovely stuff. Really, really good from Adrian Lewis. 11 data. Jackpot is back. Just the 106 average right now. 121. Gary Blades getting the full Adrian Lewis experience here. 100. Not sure if there's been a little tweak in the equipment for Adrian Lewis. Not sure what darts he's using. I mean, he's always preferred a pretty simple, straight-barreled ring kind of group design. 100. He's had various iterations of them change the weights, but when he was really struggling, not quite sure what he was trying to do with his game, he started using Raymond Van Barneveld darts. He was just looked a bit lost at times, and there have been occasions. Well, he's not been sure how quick to throw. He slowed things down. But this looks so good. This is marvellous to see from Jackpot. He can win anything. There is no doubt about this man's talent and his ability. His ceiling of performance. A 174 from Blades keeps him interested. But for how long? For how long? 82. Long enough to get a shot at this 67. Beautiful. Up for double four, then. 63. Well, I tell you what, if he'd taken all his chances, this game would be a bit different. But he hasn't. And he hasn't had many chances. Oh, that's probably the worst dart Adrian's thrown in the whole game there. That one at double eight. Game shot. And the double four finds its mark. And this one is not over, despite... The two-time world champion averaging 105. Gary Blades, fully 14 points lower than that in the averages. He's still just about in it. We saw an incredible game on Thursday night where Rob Cross nearly escaped with a draw against world champion Peter Wright in the Premier League, despite at some points in that game averaging 30 points lower. He was just not in the match at times, Rob Cross, and then he just kept on finding a way to win a leg here or there. 96. And Adrian was playing this sort of stuff when he was up against Peter Wright on the Saturday last weekend. Took what looked like a commanding 81. lead, I believe 5-1, and ended up losing a last leg decider. But that is Peter Wright, the world champion, who's probably playing the best darts of anybody on the tour right now as Jack Potts. A 174 of his own. Again, he's left himself a finish after nine darts. 84. Tops, tops. No, decided to go trouble 16 for double 16. 83. No need to look at the double double route with blades back on 202. But this is really, really encouraging from Jackpot. It's encouraging for Gary Blades. This is one of his better displays. Double eight. 
32. Well, just having a couple of issues in that little section of the board, the double 16, double eight, Adrian. 142 won't go, so he's going to have another crack at that double eight. He'll want to get a lot closer than he's done. 84. In the last few attempts. Game shot. Well, double four is not so much of an issue. Lewis one leg away from win meeting either Jesus Noguera or Gary Anderson, which is the next first round game we're going to show you on this streaming board. Gary Blades, only his seventh game on the Pro Tour. And this is quite possibly going to be his best average. 77. He's been anywhere between 91 and 71. And Peter Wright absolutely annihilated him last Sunday. 6-1. Peter Wright only averaged 90. But they've, they've been some encouraging signs here from Gary Blades. 45. But he's walked into Adrian Lewis averaging 100. And AD Lewis averaging 100 can beat anybody, I assure you. Oh, right, then left. Then back right. 21. One hundred. Well, AD has been a bit hit and miss this year in the tour. He's been winning games, but it's not as if he's been blasting through people with 100 averages for the day. If you look at his overall average for the tournament, despite playing a lot of games, it's only just above 92. However... It's not all about averages, is it? Just look at him. Look at the way he's playing. Look at the way he's throwing. It is very, very encouraging. And there have been some big ton plus averages in there. 140. And he leaves himself on a simple two dart checkout. Blades, is it 45 tops? You would think it would be. Can't do it. And Adrian Lewis is going to get match darts. Exciting to see Adrian playing like this. Well, stubbornly staying down that section of the board. He's had trouble on those doubles, but not this time around. A 6-2 victory for jackpot Adrian Lewis. Looking smooth as silk. 100 average for AD. And I tell you what, he can win things playing like this. Can he keep it up all day? He's going to need to, because it might be a second round clash with Gary Anderson to come.